Both clubs back on the floor to start the second half. For Case, it'll be Reed Anderson, Eric Doerr, Tom Summers, Alex Hildebrandt, and Brian Erst, the uh, normal starting five. Antoine Coward started tonight in front of Alex Hildebrandt. It's senior night tonight, and Coward along with Erst, the two seniors for Case, and Antoine had good minutes in that opening half. Yeah, some good energy from Ant Antoine Coward early on. Beat a lot of guys off the dribble, scored a couple of baskets. Erse over to Hildebrandt, right side, shut off the glass and good. And Alex was fouled. Erse with a nice dribble, drive, and dish. He saw Hildebrandt coming from his right. Hildebrandt got that in motion and was able to draw the foul and put it home. Fouls on David Gold. That is his third. Alex Hildebrandt will look for the three-point play. Misses the free throw. And the long rebound comes out to Rochester. They won the uh, chase for the long rebound. Hildebrandt's got eight. Case is up two at 40 to 38. Case trailed by as many as eight in the first half round. They led by three, had seven lead changes in the first half. Nice feed inside and a pass to a baseline cutter. It was Nate Novosel. Novosel's got 11. He had nine in the first half. Case will host Emory on Sunday. That game will start at 11 o'clock. The games on Sunday are at 11 and 1. Spartans with the basketball game tied inside to Hildebrandt, loses it. Ball's loose. Lobanowski off to DeBartolo Mayo. Back to Lobanowski. Three in the air, left wing, open look, missed the shot. Long rebound tipped out. Lobanowski with it, left wing. Over to Roberson, back to DeBartolo Mayo, and they'll pull it out and they'll reset that offense. Rochester with the basketball, game tied at 40. DeBartolo Mayo with a crossover dribble. Reed Anderson playing some nice defense. 2-3 zone, playing for Case. DeBartolo Mayo got an open look, though. Anderson didn't get back in time. And John DeBartolo Mayo hits another three. He's got 14 points. Two threes, one right before the half and one right there. Case down three. Inside, Eric Doerr wide open, shot off the glass, missed it. Got the rebound back, missed his follow, and Roberson comes up with a rebound. I think Eric was expecting more pressure than he got when he went up for that shot. It was one of those situations. He just flat out missed a bunny. Rochester throws it away, though, and here comes Case. Reed Anderson controls to Erse. Brian Erse, crossover dribble, draws it out, gets it over to Hildebrandt. They'll swing it over to Reed Anderson between the circles. And to finish that thought on the games on Sunday, run. 11 and 1, but our radio broadcast won't begin till noon. Internet broadcast will kick off at 11 o'clock. So if you listen to us along the internet, I know many of you do, thanks for listening. And tune in on Sunday at 11. Normally it's a noon start. It'll go early on Sunday. Reed Anderson traveled with the basketball. <laughs> Reed Anderson took like four steps from the top of the key, laid it up and in, nobody around, and uh, they'll count the basket. He came off that pick and just, <laughs> just kept running. Case is down a point. Inside, shots missed inside by Roberson for Rochester. So here comes Case. Anderson with it. Left wing. Spin dribble. Left block. Runs into a triple team. Reed ties it up. Rochester's going to tie it up. And we've got a jump ball situation as Nate Novosel and Reed Anderson were both grabbing at the basketball. We've got a Case timeout. Who's got the ball? Well, it's got to be Case because if it, the timeout occurred before the tie-up. So Case will keep it. Spartans down a point, 17 minutes left to play second half. We'll be back on the Case Broadcasting Network. It is 43-42, Rochester with a one-point lead. Just underway in the second half here. Only three minutes gone in the second half. 
Both teams come out of that timeout, return to the basketball floor, and Case will have it out under their own basket with 24 seconds to shoot. Hildebrandt will do the honors, gets it into Erse. Erse in that left corner in front of the Case bench. Spartans this half moving from right to left along your radio dial. Between the circles, it's Reed Anderson, spins at the foul line, dribbles in and lays it up and in. We got a blocking foul on Rochester. He didn't lay it up and in, he laid it up, it didn't go in. Blocking foul is on Novacell. that will be his first. So Reed will get two at the foul line. And that's the third time tonight that Anderson has split a double team like that, Ron, come off a pick, went down the lane, and as the Rochester defense collapses, he simply splits it and picks up the foul because Rochester's moving as they try to step in front of him. Reed Anderson will get two free throws, first one's up and it's good. Anderson with three points on the night. Reed Anderson, the 6'6 junior out of Avon Lake. St. Edward High School, went to high school in, at St. Ed's in Lakewood. Second free throw is up and it's also good. Spartans up a point, it's 44-43. DeBartolo Mayo in the backcourt, crosses the timeline, gets it off to Lobanowski. Back to DeBartolo Mayo, they'll play catch out front. The Bartolo Mayo dribbles around a screen, puts up a shot from 15 feet, missed it. Rochester comes up with a rebound, though. Cutter in the lane, kicks it back out. Lobanowski to DeBartolo Mayo, throws up a three, and he hits it. John DeBartolo Mayo has 17 points. The freshman out of Westport, Connecticut, Staples High School, having a night to remember. He takes over that point guard duty from John Shemelowick. Case, nice screen on the outside, freed up Anderson inside, put up a shot, it was blocked, but the start, Spartans got it back. You talk about Anderson and from St. Ed's, St. Ed's and St. Ignatius playing tonight, Ron, at Sullivan Gymnasium. Big game locally. Brian Erse with some nice dribbling exhibitions. Dribbles in around three or four defenders and lays it up and in, he's got nine. In the backcourt. Gold gets it off to DeBartolo Mayo, back to Gold, and back to John DeBartolo Mayo. It's tied at 46, 15-30 left to play. Case and Rochester. Lobanowski picks up his dribble, kicks it off to DeBartolo Mayo. He dribbles back to Lobanowski, left wing, three in the air, long one. Missed it, and Reed Anderson comes down with a rebound. Case finishes up with Emory at home on Sunday, last home game of the season, then three games on the road. If you, if you heard Coach Sean McDonald call a play, the butler in the parlor. <laughs> well, I wonder if Eric Doerr was the butler in the parlor because he got a pass on the left baseline, put up a reverse layup and made it. He's got 13. Doerr had 11 first half points. Case is retaking the lead. They're up two at 48-46. Bartolo Mayo looks over to his head coach, Mike Neer. They'll set that play. Case still in that 2-3 zone. Gold with it. Works it inside. Nice ball fake. Shot off the glass. Drew the foul. Ball went. And it was Nate Novosel with the shot. He's got 13. He'll look for 14 at the foul line. We'll be on Eric Dewar. So now Dewar and Urs, Ron, both have three fouls with 15 minutes to play. At the line, shooting one free throw will be the 6'5 sophomore, Nate Novacell. Free throw is up, front of the rim, backboard, and in. He's got 14. Reed Anderson with it for Case, left wing in front of the Case bench. Back to Urs, foul line to Hildebrandt. Kicks it over to Anderson. Trying to free up Anderson on this left side. Reed's got it. Over to Brian Urs, foul line extended. Kicks it out to Hildebrandt, right wing, back to Urs, right corner. 14 seconds to shoot for Case. On the baseline, it's Summers. Tom Summers from about 16 feet. And he makes it. He's got 10. Case up a point, 50 to 49. It's been this kind of game the whole way. Wawanowski draws the defense, gets it over to Roberson, dribbles in, drew the foul as he was shooting it. And the foul's gonna go on Tom Summers. Two fouls on Summers. Roberson's at the line, he'll shoot two. Marcus Roberson and 
54% free throw shooter. Two points in the first half, scoreless in the second. Free throws up and it's good. <laughs> Yellow Jackets four and five in University Athletic Association play. Last time these two teams met was early January, January 8th in New York. And Rochester came away with a 16 point, lead, or 16 point win, 76-60. Couple of players check in for Case. Rob Scott's in, Colin Mulholland. On the bench are Hildebrandt and Urs. Roberson's second free throw is missed and Reed Anderson comes down with a rebound. Game's tied at 50, Ed. Fourth tie of the ball game. Hill, or, uh, Mulholland's gotta get a little more height on that drop in pass to Summers down low. Case turned it over, Rochester with the basketball. They work it inside along that left block. Strong moves inside, he's traveling all over the place. Eric Doerr did a nice job. Nate Novasel got it on the left block and took like three, three steps forward. <laughs> and then turned around and said, no, I have my pivot. Kidding me. Yeah. pivot foot was planted. <laughs> Game tied at 50, 13-20, Rob Scott to Reed Anderson out of the foul line to Summers. That's going to be a battle down the down the stretch between Novasil and and Summers. Try to get it inside the door, and Rob Reed knocked it out of bounds for Rochester. Case will get it back. 20 seconds to shoot. Scott will inbound it. Anderson comes across a double screen. Pass it into door. Now they get it to Anderson, left wing. Anderson, left hand dribble, strong dribble, goes up for the layup. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Fouls on Rochester. Chris Dendy. That is his first. And that will send Reed Anderson to the line where he'll shoot two. Anderson, two of two on the night, make it three of three. He's got five points all in the second half. Reed on the season, averaging 16 points, four rebounds, three assists. 10 times in 20 games this year, he's, lead the team in, he's led the team in scoring. Made both free throws, he's got six. Case is back up two at 52 to 50. Here comes Rochester. Rochester moving from left to right, they work it inside. Novosel missed the shot, good defense. And they're gonna tie it up inside. Tom Summers tied it up along with Rob Reed and the possession arrow will go to Rochester. Ball didn't hit the rim, so the shot clock will stay at 22 seconds. Ed, you were shaking your head. That's hard to believe <laughs> that, that uh, Summers has complete control and turns out, as he does, somehow gets tied up, but from behind initially. More conferences by the yeah, officials. This, this group of three officials has had more conferences tonight. The Bartolo Mayo finally missed the three. Had it off the inbounds pass, left wing. Here comes Case. Reed Anderson quickly down the floor off the glass, missed it. Reed drew the foul. Fouls on Michael Lobanowski. That is his third. He's got three, and Reed Anderson's back to the foul line where he'll get two more. Four team fouls on Rochester. Anderson up and good. Lobanowski will check out with three fouls, three fouls and two points. Evan Sudis will check in for Case, Sudis off the bench. He had one point in the opening half. Eric Doerr will take a well-deserved break. He's got 13 points. Reed Anderson's second free throw is up and good. Four straight for Anderson from the line, and Case has their largest lead of the night. Anderson has eight. DeBartolo Mayo gets a ball stolen. Reed Anderson, one on three, over to Erse, right side, lays it up, missed it, oh! Follow, though, by Evan Sudis. Sudis is three. Coach Neer at Rochester wants a timeout. 
We'll take one, two. Case has opened up a six-point lead. It's 56-50, 12-23 left to play. We'll be back after this on the Broadcasting Network of Case. And if Case can pull out a victory tonight, it will be their 12th victory of the season. And in Sean McDonald's seven seasons here as the head basketball coach at Case, their best season was 2006 when they were 12 and 13 overall. So if they can win tonight, they'll be 12 and nine overall, and they'll have four games left to play with a chance to set a personal best for Coach McDonald. And there is no one that deserves a personal best more than him because he has really worked hard in his seven seasons at Case. Well, and uh, all along the way, you're talking about that'd be four wins in the conference with Emory coming in on Sunday, a game against Carnegie Mellon to close out the season. So an opportunity to not only have a personal best in wins, but personal best in conference wins as well. Yeah, the personal best in conference wins was five. Rochester breaks the press. Lobanowski works it inside, turn around, Soft jump hook by Colin Cubitt. He's got four. 56-52. Butler in the parlor. They're running it again. Let's look to that baseline. Let's see if there's a pass along the baseline. Weaves out top. Urs has it. Another weave. Reed Anderson comes off the screen, works inside, puts up a shot, missed it. Reed fights for his own rebound. And he draws a foul. Boy, credit Reed Anderson with just some all-out hustle that time. Much more aggressive tonight from Anderson than what we've seen in the last couple of games, Ron. Fouls on Cubitt. That is his first. Reed dribbled into a triple team, somehow got a shot off, then tried to get the rebound amongst the triple team. Had control. And Had then control, and then Cubitt reached in and fouled him. So great job by Reed Anderson that time. Case will keep it. And because the basket drew iron or the shot drew iron, they'll get a fresh 35. Rob Scott inbounds it to Reed Anderson. Reed Anderson with Cubit on him, spins at the foul line, loses the basketball. They'll call Reed for traveling. Reed Anderson has eight points all here in the second half. Cubit with the dribble. They're going to call a touch foul on Rob Scott at half court. They're going to get Brian Erse. Brian Erse, that's four on Erse. No, nope. oh, no, Rob was, Scott. Yep, that's who I thought it oh, was. Oh, because yeah. Urs put his hand up like he was going to get called from behind. I saw Scott run into him and didn't see Urs. So Scott's got the first foul, and that's good because that'd be four on Brian Urs. DeBartolo Mayo. Swing it to Cubit, left wing. Cubit's got it, draws the defense. Almost stolen by Reed Anderson as he passed across the floor to DeBartolo Mayo. Dangerous pass for Rochester. DeBartolo Mayo still dribbling with it. Draws the defense under to Cubitt. They're gonna, they could have called a goaltending that time on Reed Anderson. Cubitt missed the shot, got his own rebound, put it back up and in. And Cubitt shot the first one. Reed went up, grabbed the net, and pulled it a little bit. Cubitt's got six. Case was up six during the timeout. Leads down to two now. Summers, cross-court pass. Earth spots a three, right wing. Misses it. Summers comes up with the rebound, put up a shot, and he was fouled. Tom Summers is going to go to the foul line. He'll shoot two. Fouls on Lebanowski, and that is four on Michael Lebanowski. 6-1 guard, a starter out of Rochester, New York. So with 11 minutes almost, 10 minutes, 49 seconds to play, Rochester's got one in serious foul trouble. Lebanowski, Summers misses the front end. Case on the night. 12 of 19 from the foul line, which is about a 65, 65 clip, 63. They're, they'll switch it, make it official. On the season, they are a 71% free throw shooting team. Well, Summers rushed that last one. I think he was still a little pumped up from the foul. The last foul shot was long. Better form this time. And he missed this one. Fighting for that rebound with Sudis. He almost got it. 
Rochester with the basketball and a chance to tie. DeBartolo Mayo with it, Case in that 2-3 zone. They split the zone, kick it back out, cube it, three in the air. Missed it, Sudis comes up with the backside rebound. Evan Sudis grabs it, they work it down to Alex Hildebrandt, left wing in front of the Case bench. Top of the key, now Rob Scott, ball fake, gets DeBartolo Mayo to leave his feet, dribbles in and draws the foul. Nice job by Rob Scott that time. Uh, DeBartolo Mayo grabbed him around the neck. And they, they want to... Rochester was looking for a traveling call, but that was because Scott fell down after he got after he got horse, wrangled yes, or scholared. Eric Two Dewar. fouls on DeBartolo Mayo, and at the line is Rob Scott and Dewar back in the game. And I kind of like what the coaching staff at Case has done. They've stolen some breathing minutes for Eric Dewar. He's got some fresh legs here to play the final ten and a half minutes. Rob Scott, a 75% free throw shooter, makes the first. He'll get one more. Next one's up, and it's also good. He's got three points. Reed Anderson up off the bench. He'll check in the next whistle for Case. Spartans are up four. Ten minutes, 18 seconds left to play in this basketball game. The Bartolo Mayo playing catch out top with his teammate. David Gold, they worked it inside to Roberson. Marcus Roberson put up a shot. It actually went in. Did that ball go in or did it? No, it was behind it. Yeah, it went over and I back. I saw the net shake. Fouls on Alex Hildebrandt. So Roberson's going to go to the foul line. Alex Hildebrandt, the 6'4 junior out of St. Vincent St. Mary with his first foul. Roberson's at the line. First one's up and it's good. Marcus Roberson is two of three from the foul line tonight. He's got four points. Rob Scott checks out. Reed Anderson's back in. Scott off the bench with three points. Reed Anderson back in the game. He's got eight all in the second half. Roberson missed the second one. Reed Anderson comes down with a rebound. Nice inside pass to Sudis. Great vision from Urs, and he hits Sudis on the baseline and laid it in, Ron. Fabulous Sudis, passing. Sudis has five. Case is up five. It's 60 to 55. Cubit left wing working against Subit, Sudis. They work it inside to Roberson, double team. Kick it out to DeBartolo Mayo. Cross court pass, Gold with it. Dribbles left baseline. Now draws the defense, back to Gold. Top of the key, 10 seconds to shoot. Hildebrandt stole the pass. Alex Hildebrandt That's reaches up, be. steals it. And DeBartolo Mayo fouls him in the backcourt. Oh, he went. <laughs> That's hard to imagine again. Sean McDonald wanted him. Intentional foul on that, which would have been two shots in the ball. DeBartolo Mayo picks up his third foul. Be nice to get him out of the game. He's got 17 points. He's hit a bunch of threes. Timeout on the floor. Rochester wants it. We'll take one, two. Case is up five with the basketball shooting free throws. When we come back, 9.28 left to play on the Case Broadcasting Network. You can hear Creedence Clearwater Revival in the background. Spartans are up five, 60 to 55, 928 left. Both teams out of that timeout. Alex Hildebrandt toeing the line. He'll be at the foul line. He'll shoot two. Alex with eight points tonight. His season average is four, so he's already doubled that. First free throw is up, and it's short. Hildebrand 0 of 2 from the foul line tonight. Or in the second half. He was 2 of 3 in the first half, so he's 2 of 5 overall. 14 of 23. Next free throw is up, and it's good. He's got 9 points. Case is up 6. Ed, that, is that the largest lead of the game for the Spartans? Largest lead for the Spartans is 6, yes. 9 minutes, 20 seconds and counting. Case stays in that 2-3 zone. It's been very effective the last three games. DeBartolo Mayo with it. 
Still has it between the circles, playing catch with Dendy. Dendy throws up a three from way out. Well, and he threw up a bullet, Ron. There was no, no arc on that. Lead is cut in half. It's 61-58. Inside, nine minutes to play. Sudis and Hildebrandt, right side. Top of the key, it's Urs. Brian Urs dribbles in, draws it out, kicks it to Hildebrandt. Hildebrandt, left-hand dribble strong off to Reed Anderson. Reed spins at the foul line. Comes out between the circles. They'll reset it. Ten seconds to shoot. Gives it to Sudis, the give and the go. Sudis keeps it. Sudis kicks it. Sudis gets it back. And then Cubit steals it. Rochester in the backcourt. Here comes DeBartolomeo with it. Down the floor quickly. Another three in the air by Dendy, and he makes, makes it. Two in a row by Chris Dendy has absolutely erased the six-point spread by Case. Game's tied at 61. Chris Dendy, a 6'3 sophomore out of Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. Scranton Prep. Sudis, ball above his head to Hildebrandt. Works it into Dewar, right block. Eric Dewar, right baseline, left-hand dribble. Out to Hildebrandt. Over to Erst. Three from the left side. Misses it long. And down with the rebound is Rochester. DeBartolo Mayo with it. One on three break. Nice feed. Layup missed it, but DeBartolo Mayo got it. And he was fouled. Rob Reed missed it. DeBartolo Mayo got the rebound, made it. And he was fouled from behind. 6 point lead 90 seconds later could be a 3 point deficit. Sudas picks up foul number 3, DeBartolo Mayo with 19 points to look for 20 at the foul line. DeBartolo Mayo eyes it, shoots it, misses it, and Tom Summers comes down with a rebound. Summers off to Urs. Case needs a bucket. Down two, 7.40 left to play. Door with it, top of the key. Left side to Reed Anderson. Around the screen is Brian Urs. He's got the basketball between the circles. Hands it off to Reed. Anderson over to Hildebrandt. Back to Reed Anderson. Gets a step, dribbles in into a double team. Put up a shot. And they're going to call a charge on Reed Anderson. Charge on Anderson. Player control foul. Foul number two on Reed Anderson. I had him for two. The scoreboard has him for one, so we'll go with them. Well, in the last five and a half minutes since the 13-51 mark, Case has two field goals. They're both from Evan Sudis. So the Spartans will come out and play some defense. Down two. Lots of time left in this basketball game. Seven minutes and 20 seconds. Rochester has suddenly gotten hot. 2-3 zone to Bartolo Mayo and Denty with it out top. Bartolo Mayo with Rob Scott all over him. 12 seconds to shoot. Bartolo Mayo still with it. Top of the key. Gets a screen. Hands it off to Dendy. He's hit two threes in a row. Misses that one. It was right on target, though. Shot it right in front of us. It was just short. Reed Anderson comes down with a rebound. Anderson over to Door. Now they swing it left side to Rob Scott. Oh, Scott threw an errant pass. It was intercepted by Rochester. Here they come on the break. Down the floor, and Reed Anderson's going to get called for a block. Dribbling in was Colin Cubitt. You heard Coach McDonald say same foul. He was referring to the case possession when Anderson dribbled in against defense and was called for charging. So for Reed, that will be foul number two. Cubit will be at the line. Case with 17 fouls, so it's a one and one situation the rest of the way out. This was a shooting foul, so Cubit gets two. First one's up, and it's good. <laughs> Colin Cubit's got seven points. The lead is at three. Make it four as he makes the second free throw. Colin Mulholland checks back in for Case. Taking a seat is Rob Scott. It's a 10-0 run in the last four minutes for Rochester. Brian Erst with it, takes it left side to Colin Mulholland. Back to Erst. Dribbles into a double team. Erst still working hard, kicks it out. Reed Anderson over to Tom Summers. Right baseline, shot up, almost dropped. And Summers was fouled on the shot by Dendy. That's the same location where Summers made it a 50-50 game. Spotted up over there from about 12, 15 feet away. So Dendy will pick up his second foul. And Tom Summers will go back to the foul line with two free throws. First one is up, and this one's good. Tom Summers with 11 points. 
averaging 14 on the season, 14 points, 10 rebounds. Tom's got 11 points and eight rebounds tonight, so almost a double-double. Missed the second free throw. He is one of four from the foul line. Reed Anderson got the rebound, though. Off to Mulholland, three in the air, and it's good. How about that? Trey yeah. missed free throw for a three-point shot. Colin Mulholland hits his first basket of the night. The game's back tied again, Ed. First three of the game. 6-14 left. Stay tuned. We'll be back on the Case Broadcasting Network. Special Case Athletics rates starting at just $79. Hampton in downtown is an official hotel partner of Case Athletics. Looking at the standings in the University Athletic Association on the men's side, Washington University leads the conference with eight wins, one loss. They're 18 and two overall. Brandeis is second at six and three, 16 and four overall. Then NYU, Emory, and Chicago deadlocked for third, all at five and four. Rochester and Case, fourth and fifth at four and five and three and six. So, as always, Ed, this conference is very competitive from top to bottom. We saw Carnegie Mellon at 0-9 play the top teams, Washington and Brandeis, to, you know, two and four and six-point games. Well, and tonight, pretty good game outside of Boston as Wash U and Chicago make that East Coast trip to NYU and Brandeis. Wash U is in Waltham, Mass. tonight, taking on Brandeis at Red Auerbach Arena. We've been there. It sounds a little bit more special than it really is. <laughs> Cubit with it, left wing, three in the air, misses it long, and Reed Anderson steps up and grabs the rebound. All in perception, right, Ron? Right. Well, the Celtics used to train there. So when the, that stopped happening, they named the gymnasium, and it's a gymnasium, not really an arena, after the Celtic legend Red Auerbach. Tom Summers tried to get it in the Eric Doerr. Ball was tipped a couple of times, went out of bounds off case, so Rochester's going to get it back. If I remember right, the Celtics contributed to some of the renovations that were completed there. And Walton Mass, about, what was it, about a 20-minute drive outside of Boston. It's a nice trip. Cubit with it, left wing. Works it inside to Reed. Nice ball fake. Turned around, missed his shot, though. But Rochester got the rebound, puts it back up, and they miss it again. Nate Novosel missed the bunny. Reed missed the bunny, and Case has a chance to take the lead. Summers with it, left baseline, 12-footer, short. Doerr with the rebound. Doerr, nice position inside. Cubit blocks it out of bounds. And he stepped on the baseline as he was trying to save it. Action is getting fast and frantic right now. Five minutes to play. Game is tied as it was when it started. Back then it was 0-0, now it's 65 all. Well, we were 38-38 at halftime. We've had four ties in the second half. Checking in for Rochester, Michael Lobanowski. He's in with four fouls. Lee Anderson getting banged inside. Anderson's got it now between the circles. Dribbles in, gets pushed from behind by Cubit. And they're going to get 41 for the foul. Rob Reed in front. Going to call Reed for a blocking foul. Cubit was double teaming him from behind and was threw a forearm to the small of the back. Reed's first. Rob Reed. Reed Anderson's at the foul line. Shooting free throws. He'll get two. He makes the first. Reed Anderson's second. It's up and it's good. Reed Anderson's got 10 points all in the second half. Eight of them from the foul line. Case is up two with 4.53 left. Rob Reed will take a seat. Checking back in is Nate Novosel for Rochester. Checking the substitution pattern of Rochester right now. Novosel came out on the foul, then went back in after the 
second free throw. Case is up two at 67-65 with 4.53 left to play in this basketball game. Talking at the scorer's table and the head basketball coach at Rochester, Mike Neer, standing with his arms crossed. Probably knows exactly what his substitution pattern was, but will not admit it. So they're going to bring Reed back off the bench, and they're going to put him in for Nate Novacell. And it should not be a substitution there. That simply should be the correct personnel on the floor. Four minutes, 50 seconds and counting. We're back to basketball action. DeBartolo Mayo off to Lawanowski. Now with it is Roverson. Now Reed's got it. Kubik dribbles left side, puts up an eight-footer. It was blocked. I believe Reed Anderson got some of that. I don't know if Summers or Reed Anderson got a piece of it, but somebody did. Case with numbers, four on five break. Summers hits a shot from the baseline, about a 12-footer. Boy, is Summers very comfortable. Shooting from about 12 feet on that baseline, Ron. Summers has got 13. Whistle away from the ball. Roberson, Marcus Roberson, on the last possession by Rochester, I think got poked in the eye or something because he didn't make it up the floor. That's why Case had the numbers on that break. And now they are taking him out of the game. Or poked in the eye or got hit across the bridge of the nose, maybe. Something shook him up. Nate Novacell has now checked in for Rochester. Lawanowski comes off a screen, gets it back to Novosel, who set the screen. Novosel takes the shot, misses it. And Brian Erst comes up with a loose ball. Case is up four with four minutes left to play. Yeah, they're working on Roberson's nose. They have gauze stuffed up his nose, and they were adjusting it to put it back in place. Colin Mulholland just got picked by DeBartolo Mayo, and Colin fouls him at half court. That was the eighth team foul, so DeBartolo Mayo will go to the foul line. He'll shoot the one and one. And the way he has been shooting tonight. He's got 19 points. Leads all scorers, averaging 10 on the season. The freshman out of Westport, Connecticut. 8 of 12 from the field, 3 of 6 from three-point range. And shooting the front end of a one and one First one's up, and this one's good. He had 11 points in the first half. He's got nine here in the second for a 20 total and make it stay at 20 because he missed the second free throw. Tom Summers will get the rebound for Case and the Spartans will hold a three-point lead. Down the floor to Reed Anderson right in front of that Case bench. Anderson back to the top of the key to Summers, swings it right to Erse. Brian Erse to Mulholland, thinks about a three. Now pops a three left wing, it's in it, and it rolls around and drops, Colin Mulholland. Whoa, that one saw every bit of the rim and fell in. He's got two buckets, both of them threes. Case is up six. Coach Near from Rochester wants a timeout. Three minutes, 21 seconds left. Spartans up 72-66. Stick around. We'll be back on the Case Broadcasting Network. to play. Senior night here at Horsburg Gymnasium at the Veal Center on the campus of Case Western Reserve. Two seniors for Case, Brian Erse and Antoine Cower. They honored them both before the game tonight and both have contributed to this Case six-point lead. 
Case will be on defense. Rochester moving from left to right on your radio dial. DeBartolo Mayo with it, with Urs on him. Case has switched to a man defense. Three in the air by Rochester, missed, but the long rebound is by Reed, and then Urs tied him up. Reed came down with it, dropped it down to his knees, and if you're a big guy, that's the last thing you want to do because the little guys always grab it, and that's what Brian Urs did, tied him up, and possession arrow goes in favor of Case. Nice heads-up play by Brian Urs. Case with a six-point lead, Ron. That match is their biggest of the night, a chance to make it an eight-point lead. So Urs has it. He'll work against Lobanowski. Now to Mulholland. Off the screen. Summers inside. Left block. Got the shot and the foul. Beautiful play by Case. Great pass by Mulholland. Summers went up with strength. Made the shot. Was fouled. And he'll go to the line. He'll look for a three-point play. Summers lulled him to sleep on the weak side. Sprinted to the strong side. Low post. Unattended. Caught the ball and put it up off the glass and in. Free throw is up and good for Tom Summers. He's got 16. Two above his season average. Case is up nine. Two it, minutes and 55 seconds left. It's a 14 run, one run for Case over the last five minutes. Brian Urs playing great defense on seniors night. Stopped Bartolomeo as a drive. Roberson's got it. Roberson back in the game. Sets a screen, three in the air by Dendy. Misses it long. Ball goes out of bounds. Case will get it back. Coming in, checking off the bench for Rochester will be David Gold. Checking out will be Michael Lobanowski. Last year on throwback weekend, Case had a 75-71 lead with a minute six to play and eventually lost the game 78-75. Urs with it, left baseline, stopped by Dendy. Urs tries again, kicks it out. At the foul line, it's Tom Summers. And the sophomore is money right now. He's got 18. Chance to avenge that loss. Maybe one of the worst in Coach McDonald's history. They let one get away. Case is up 11. Dendy dribbles in. Puts up a shot. Missed it. Urs with the rebound. Long pass down to Reed Anderson. Anderson goes up. He was fouled. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. David Gould fouled him. That's his fourth. Reed Anderson will shoot two. Two minutes left, case up 11. Anderson at the foul line, first one's up and it's good. Anderson with 11 points, said. Nine of them from the foul line. He is nine of nine from the foul line. If he misses this one, and he made it. It went hard off the back of the rim. I was going to say, boy, that stuff is really true. If he missed that after I said nine of nine. With, with six and a half minutes to go, Rochester led this game around 65 to 61. DeBartolo Mayo just hit a long three right in front of his teammates on the Rochester bench. He's got 23. He had 30 earlier in the year. Back in January. Not against Case, against Roberts Wesleyan. Was that the school that he hit 34? Case is up 10, 79-69. Urs working with it, right baseline, put up a shot off the glass and made it. Brian Urs has 11. Spartans up 12 with a minute 23 left. A Inside, it's Novacell, and Nate makes the shot off door, and he was fouled. So Novacell will go to the line and he'll look for three. It's a 20 to four run. It's now 20 to six run for Case in the final five and a half minutes. Fouls well, on Brian Urs, his fourth. But Urs has played with three fouls for pretty much the entire second half. Didn't you say it was like 11.30 left in the half when Urs got his third foul? It was, uh, he has played with three fouls for a long time. So Novacell's got 16 points. He'll look for 17 at the foul line. Shots up and it rolls in. Case is up nine, 81-72, minute 20 left. Long pass, baseball pass, breaks the press. Tom Summers lays it up, misses it, but Summers was fouled. Case having fun right now, Ed. They win this one, that's three in a row. They get three quality programs too, Ron. Absolutely. Brandeis, NYU, and Rochester. 
And this is a Rochester team that cases five and 32 all time against. They've won once since the 98 season. Tom Summers makes the first free throw. He'll get another. Summers has 19. Eight of 10 from the field. Second free throw is up, and this one's also good. Tom Summers with 20, case up 11, minute 15 left. DeBartolo Mayo dribbles in, kicks it out to Roberson. Left block, shot off the glass, won't go. Tip followed, though, by DeBartolo Mayo. The 5'11 freshman got in there and tipped it up and in. He's got 25. And a foul at midcourt by David Gould. Well, and Urs will go to the line to shoot, Ron. Case sitting on 83 points. If Urs hits one of these and Case holds on for the win, it will be the most points that Case has scored in a victory this year. Twice they've been up near 90. They had 89 and a loss to Emory earlier in the season in conference play, and they lost 97-94 to Ithaca. Case usually does not like to get into track meets like this where they're high scoring games. They'd prefer something in the mid to high 70s for a victory, but Case will take it. Brian Urs at the foul line makes it. David Gould has fouled out of the game. Urs has 12. Second free throw is up, and this one is also good. Inside a minute to play, 56 seconds. Case up 85-74. DeBartolo Mayo throws up a three. Missed it. Doer comes down with a rebound. Eric gets it off to Colin Mulholland. Mulholland fouled in the backcourt by Mike Lavanowski, and that will be his fifth. How about that for Dewar? That's nine rebounds for Dewar, and Case again close to having three players with double-doubles tonight. Anderson 12 and 10, or 12 and 11. Summers 20 and 10, and Dewar now 13 and 9. That's impressive. And Brian Urs has got 13 points and six rebounds. So Mulholland's at the line. He makes the first, he'll get another. Colin Mulholland with seven points all in the second half, averaging six off the bench, the junior out of Bishop Kenny High School in Jacksonville, Florida. And with 47 seconds left in his second to last home game, Antoine Coward checks off the bench and he will re-enter the basketball game for Case. Coward, one of the two seniors being honored tonight at senior night. Coward, the senior out of Washington, D.C., Seed Charter School in D.C. Started the game tonight for Case, immediately contributed with four quick points. Strong off the dribble. Colin Mulholland at the foul line, shoots it and makes it. Colin Mulholland with eight, and Case is up 13 with 45 seconds left. 87-74, Dendy dribbles. Howard steps up, and Antoine Coward creates a turnover. Dendy dribbled it off his foot. Antoine picked him up baseline. And Case has the basketball. Up 13 with 30 seconds left. Urs with it between the circles. Just going to dribble out near half court and invite Rochester to come out and play defense. 22 on the shot clock, 23 on the game clock. About a second difference. Brian Urs will dribble around still with the basketball. Brian Urs over to Antoine Coward. Antoine Coward, they're going to clear out for Antoine. They're going to clear out for him. They're going to set a screen. Summers will set a screen. Antoine will pull up. Three in the air. Almost made it. Went strong off the back of the rim. One second. There's the buzzer. Long three by Rochester. Falls short. And this ball game's over. 